Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 6 of our Climbing the Ladder Journeyman Save here in FM20. We are starting our first full season with FK Carl Scarona after taking over the job midway through last season. Uh, real quick shout out to a couple of new subscribers. Uh, Epic Movie Trailers and Tomin, Tomin, T-O-M-M-E-A-N, Tomin, Tomin. Hope I'm pronouncing that right, but welcome to you guys. Lots of comments. I want to give a big shout out to Loki Doki. You guys know I've made no bones over the years. Uh, he, you know, he is the guy that I really look up to in football manager. Um, really the first football manager guy that I started watching. Uh, and I've mentioned why in the past, you know, not, not something to go into, but, uh, he put up a video. I'm recording this on Saturday. He put up a video a little bit earlier and he actually highlighted a small YouTube channel. The guy had, I think less than 50 subscribers. And, uh, I think last count he was over 150. He had tripled his subscriber count, but you know, Loki took the time to recognize the guy and recognize the guy that brought him to Loki's attention on Twitter. So, kudos to that guy and i forget who that was um i want i'd love, love to give his name but it's in loki's video um but uh kudos to him for giving some support to the small to the to the small channel and then loki for bringing it to light and turning some people onto his channel i had never heard of him and i look for small youtube channels as a, as a small youtuber myself so uh anyway uh kudos to him but let's get into today. We were the busiest team in the league with 22 signings. We did send out five people. Uh, I will show you the five people we sent out. And then we'll only look at the new guys as they come into our lineup. So Christoph, Christopher Berg, Borgstrom, uh, we sent him off on a free. Uh, he was 30. He's now 31. Just didn't fit into my plans long term. Nicholas Gerhardson, a young player, young uh, striker up top. We got $700 for. Linus Werner was a pretty solid looking player at this level. Just never played for us. We had too much depth at that level uh, right there. Simon Balter was a starter last year for me in the midfield. Did not want to get rid of him at the end of the day. I did transfer listing early in the offseason. And then was unable to really get solid central mids. And so I said, man, I'd like to keep him. And then we got an offer for him. And he dropped the, I'm going to become unsettled if you don't let me talk to this other club. So we let him go. Uh, we got ended up getting two or three offers on him. And he went to burn for $900. Victor Hellstrom was our starting right back. And... We upgraded that. He was going to be third or fourth in the in the depth chart. So uh, strangely enough, he goes to Roslot, who won the league last year and got promoted up. So that's crazy. Eight hundred and seventy-five dollars. And you can see the list of all the players and where they came from. Again, if you're new to the channel, I played ahead thirty years. You can see we're in twenty fifty-seven now, and I'm on my fifth club and starting my second season with them. But uh, so we had 30 years in the can already just, you know, just to get ahead of things and build some history. And, you know, everybody else that does FM starts off in 2020 and, you know, it's all the same players. And, you know, you end up getting into regens anyway. So I said, you know what, I'm going to jump ahead 30 30 years and we'll just start there and it'll be something a little different. So I hope you guys don't mind that, but you know, it was something I wanted to try and I'm interested in your feedback on that. Uh, but anyway, let's get into today. Uh, taking a look at the competition. Uh, we are one to two favorites to win the league this year. So that's uh, after being in a relegation battle or supposed to be in a relegation battle. And then, Missing out on the playoffs in the final match of the season. Oh, that was brutal and heartbreaking. Speaking of, I think they lost. Homestead, yeah, they're back in and they're picked to go down. Sweet. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to get into... Where am I going here? There we are. All right, so... I had started to record and then I restarted again. All right, so this is the lineup we're going with today. So Frieden, 
Oscar Frieden, he is our returning uh, scoring leader from last year. Uh, he had 16 goals in 30 matches last season and uh, actually broke the club record for goals. Not bad after only having one in six the previous year. And that gives him 48 for his career. Uh, new player is Oscar Lons. We'll have a pair of Oscars up top. Uh, he comes to us from uh, IFK Hening, and he had six in 24 each of the last two years. A couple of assists thrown in there. Not a bad little player. Really like his physicals. Solid composure, determination. Finishing isn't great, but it's manageable. I would like somebody a little bit better. We'll see how many starts he gets. That's who we're going to go with out of the gate. Uh, Silvano Thoni. Uh, he was, he's a returning winger for us, so name, name familiar to you guys that were here last season. Herman, Henrik Hermanson, uh, he's got five-star potential. He comes to us on a free from Sodertalsh. Uh, three goals, seven assists last year with a 7.1 rating. Looking for him to be a big playmaker, crossing, dribbling, first touch, passing. He can really do it all on the technical side. Not great, but you got to remember we're third division in Sweden. So solid physicals, determination, work rate. I think he is going to do a good job for us. He's playing a 7.75 through our friendlies, for God's sake. William Soderstrom, he's a 23-year-old four-star potential. Again, he's only two-star current, so he's not the greatest. Uh, but we do have good pace, good acceleration. He can actually play a defensive position in the midfield with nine marking, seven tackling. Passing, eh, it's all right. But that's the kind of player I was getting. Uh, now, he comes to us from the Super Super Rattan, which is the division above us, IFK Vernarmo on a free. They had paid 1.1K for him, uh, 11 games, two assists. He's had a couple of goals, very sporadic. I'm a little worried about that position, right? Uh, then we have uh, Harry Heineson, Heinenen, uh, two and a half star current, four star potential. He comes to us from Musapori from in Finland. Uh, last time he was there last season, he only had uh, two appearances. Uh, hadn't scored a goal since he was with Kiffin uh, four years ago. Seven in 32, so... Uh, I do like his passing, first touch, dribbling, crossing. Uh, I think he's more of a winger for us, but he can play that central mid. And I think he can do the job. You know, I think he can do a job for us there. Uh, Sundstrom, Christopher Sundstrom. Uh, he comes to us from Hasselholms. Again, he hasn't played much in the last couple of years. So we'll have to see how he fits in. Uh, Decent, decent, you know. Uh, he can't head the ball, so I don't like him in that center back position. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, he can pass. You know, I'm wondering if maybe we don't train him to be the playmaker in midfield. Not, a, not an attacking playmaker, but like a, the deep lying playmaker that we that we use. Because he's got, he's got all the skills, right? You know, I, I like that. Plus, he can play solid defense there. But we'll see. That's something we can think about. Uh, then we have Daniel Hellstrom. Uh, he comes to us from Holmstads. Uh, four goals, four assists in 28 matches last year in this league. Solid physicals. Marking, passing. Again, he's more of a defensive player. And again, very solid mentals across the board. Uh, I'm wondering again if this is a guy we couldn't move up into that central mid roll. Uh, if we have other people, we tried to update uh, our central mids. Uh, we've got uh, Brynjar Gudmundsson. I hope that's even close to being right. Now he comes to us from Malmo, who is our senior affiliate that we can't get loans from because there are too many levels above us. Uh, there, there are two levels above us, and I'm finding you can only get loans one level above you unless they're very young and very new. So he's only made three appearances, uh, so I was glad to get him. Solid physicals. Uh, he can actually head, tackle, and mark. So he's going to slot into our center, center back position. Another new player, Kevin Holland. He comes to us from Ativaberg. 
27 starts last year. He is a longtime starter in this league. Couple of assists, couple of goals sporadically. Uh, but again, not very pacey. Not very pacey. But he can head the ball. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna really be relying on Goodmanson over here. And then uh the guy we brought in last year, Daniel Lane. Uh, we are going to give him the goes this year, and he's given up four goals in eight matches with five shutouts. These are actually, uh, you know, he's not as good as the guy we got on loan last year. I did try to sign him, by the way. His contract expired, but it looks like the most I can pay is around $2,100, and he wanted $3,500, and I just could not get him down. So that is what it is. Uh, Adolfson, I did try to move him. That's the guy that was our starting keeper when the league started. But uh, nobody wanted him. So he's good enough to keep, but he has announced his retirement at the end of the season. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to go passionate. We're the favorites. We're going to give them all the faith talk that we usually start this start the season off with. Oh, the nerves are starting to set in, boys. Nerves are starting to set in. All right. Bergstrom picks up the first yellow of the season against us for, from Fresh Tabby. Get creative. All right. Sundstrom. Deep throw into the box. Solderson. Sundstrom, there's a header. It goes off the bar, drops to Hermanson's feet, and he gets his debut goal. Henrik Hermanson with a goal. We're up 1-0 in the 26th minute. It's always good to get that debut goal, right? A lot, a lot of new players here. A lot of new players. All right, Jones comes out for the kick. Oh, it goes over, and Lang is there. He's into the box, a one-on-one, -on -one, and he puts it past. He's got a debut goal for us. Oscar Lang, is it Lang or Long? I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Long just because of the little circle doohickey up there. Uh, but if you know for sure, Tom T, I know you're out there, one of my Swedish uh, viewers. Let me know, is it Lang or Long? Not sure which, but we're up two nil. We have yet to give up a shot. Five of our eight shots are on target. Very nice. Um, we, yeah, we don't not talk to them. Uh, calm. I'm happy. I'm happy. Do you hear me? I'm happy. All right, we do have a complacent player here. All right, uh, set piece. Okay, I don't know. That wasn't really a pass, and it wasn't really a clearance, was it? All right, Sund Sundstrom plays it. Oh, the flick on. Thony is there. He puts it in. What a run into the channel by Silvano Thony. He gets a goal. Christopher Sundstrom with the assist, and we're up 3-0. That was a nice flick on header, and he did a great job to run through there. Brilliant, brilliant work. I think the passing's going to be a little bit better this year. Oh, Lang into the box. All right. Not a good finisher. Not a good finisher. We knew that. All right. Lang. All right. He gets a little toe pass into Hermanson. Deflected, knocked away. We keep control. Heinenen lets it get stolen by Ridman. Oh, Mike Rogers, welcome to the channel. Uh, an easy shot in and a quick boot out by Lang. Lane, uh, not Lang. The other guy's Lang, I think. The keeper is Lane. I'll get it. I'll get it. Over the top. Oh, Frieden misses his scoring opportunity. All right, um, Lang's playing an 8.2. Now, we've got Johan Malm. He's not a good, he's he's not that position, nor is he. Henningsen only has a five finishing. Ugh. 
Thony. Thony's got a two. Yeah, we're pretty rough at striker. Not as we're not as deep as I thought. I like him more as a wing. And then Johansson. Johansson's the guy that we brought in last year, but he can't finish. I brought him in to be a, a winger on the right side. Um, you know what? Let's uh, let's bring Johansson in. Let's bring Bergman in at center back. I think we can afford to bring some guys in. Eh, you never say that, you know, because as soon as you do, they come back with a four-goal run. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Poor defense there. Ling. Lang long. It's not Ling. I'm, I'm thinking long. Flipped away by the keeper. Thony comes in for the corner. Oh, good save by Jones out of the box. Nice nice job going up and coming down with that. We're going to give them some praise. All right, they're fired up. 15 to 2, 9 to 1. We've got nine chances created. Oh, Frieden. Oh, he was off sides. Come on. I'd like to get Frieden to that. Oh. That VAR, that line's pretty damn close. I don't know about that. Oh, Jelly Hands. The keeper puts it in, into the, his net, but we get credit. Marcus Bergman, his first goal. Thony with another assist. That's nice. 4-0. All right, let's go ahead and make another sub. Um, You know what? Now, he's a right-footed guy. Can't cross the ball. Let's put him in for... God, look at all the big numbers. Let's put him in for Hellstrom. Rest him up. All right, let's tell him no pressure. And immediately they're going to feel pressured, right? Because that's how shouts work. Oh, he could not get back there. Good save. All right. Sundstrom. Sundstrom let that ball go right over his head. You got to you gotta have a little bit higher vertical, man. Because I think that vertical was lower than mine. A little bit of time wasting here. I wonder, well, don't get a yellow. All right, over the top. Thony chest it down. He's up into the attack zone. Lays it off. There's the shot. Oh, Frieden. Frieden's there for the follow-up. He gets his goal. Very nice. 5-0. Oh, good job, boys. Good job. All right, straight to the kickoff highlight. Just a reminder, if you are new to the channel, uh, I record in the corner of my living room. I have three kids, a grandbaby, and a wife. Sometimes we get real life stuff going on, so don't let that throw you. <laughs> you get raw, uncut, and unfiltered here, man. Second goal of the season, Thony with a brace today puts us up 6-0. Now I just want to hold on for the clean sheet. Oh, the long throw into the box. Thony picks it up. Crossed in. Nope, knocked away by Johansson. Uh-oh, Eklund. Eklund's on a breakaway. And poor angle by the keeper. Poor angle gives up the clean sheet in the waning seconds of the match. That is a disappointment. And that's what I'm going to walk away from this match with is the disappointment, the heartbreak. 19-4 to on shots, 12 of 19 on target, 8 chances created six goals come from that uh we are going to go passionate very happy with that and the way you played and we are should be top of the table i would guess plus five goal differential very nice a lot of draws in there but we are out to a good start here all right, let's come back. Uh, yeah, we're only 20 minutes in. Let's come back for the next match. I will see you guys here in just a second for that match. 
All right, guys, we are back. I just got an email. So if you're just tuning in, if you're one of the new, new subscribers and you haven't gone back and checked out the very beginning with this club, uh, we ended last season on a 10-match unbeaten run. Uh, we drew the last game of the season. Uh, the team behind us, or even with us, won their match. And we finished two points out of the playoffs. We were in the number two slot heading into the last game on the last day. So very disappointed by that. It wasn't, we were supposed to be just avoid relegation, but anyway, 10 match unbeaten run. So we just won our 11th game, which ties the club record. Remember I played ahead 30 seasons. So we have a 30 season history here. So 11 game unbeaten run. We can break that club record with a win or a draw today against Jalabi AIF, 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 not exactly sure what all the Swedish FK is football clubbing. I know that because that's in the logo in the thumbnail. Uh, Jalabi. Yeah. So we're on the road. We're even. So we should win the game. All right. Let's go in. What I do here is I go into my guidelines. I just have my best coach that has uh, for current ability picked uh, as the guy to pick the team. And then I have it set to at least 90% overall condition, which is their physical, you know, so after, you know, the day after you play a match, you probably won't qualify. But, uh, you know, being that we do get a little bit of rest, it's not the worst. So let's get to it. Looks like pretty much the same lineup. Yep. So submit the team and let's get to this. Hopefully another nice win. Pick up where you left off. I'll go with that. Uh, we're wearing the orange. We have a, a black kit with uh, orange trim, and I really like that. All right, Hermanson over the top. Oh, right into Nielsen's arms. They're playing a 3-1. Jeez, what was that? I'm going to close that. We don't need that anymore. That was from last season. I just noticed it. Oh, there it is. Lang puts it in. Oscar Lang, his second goal of the season. He scored in both at both games today. Hellstrom with the assist, and we are up 1-0. Very, very nice job. Yeah, what are they playing? A three? God, dog. When it goes to a non-highlight, I will try to look again. That's an odd looking. Oh, shit. Oh, man. My keeper just sat down. He looked crap right there. I believe. I have a. Uh, not happy with that. Uh, demand more. All right. They're playing a 3 1 3 1 2. That's weird. That's an odd tactic. I don't know that I've ever seen that. All right. We've got. Five shots on goal, only two on target. All right, Grezelak. Uh, oh, Stoney did not get flagged. He lumps it to Lang forward. Can he score? No, he cannot. He went near post, but the keeper pushes it away. Oh, all right. Stoney's going to line up for the corner into the mixer, and Lang puts it right into the keeper's hands again. God, I wish he had a little bit better finishing because he's looking dangerous up there. Oh, pushed away. Heinonen, nice job. He attacks into the opponent's half. Oh, Frieden lost that. That was not good. Over the top. Munoz beats him over the top. Knocked away. Good save by Lane there. I'd like him to grab hold of that. It's like we need to put some paint on the walls there, doesn't it? Or they need to put paint on the walls. It looks a little, either that or it's mold. Gross. Some kind of slime, you know? Nasty. All right, let's get creative. Ah, inspired. All right, they pick up a yellow. Good ball out by them. Okay, good job winning that defensive header all the way back to lane. Don't play with the ball there, man. Good touch by Hermanson. Crosses it over. Thony comes to get it. Good job. Over the top. Sundstrom crossed in. 
Oh, what a finish by Henrik Hermanson. Little half volley there. Thony with the assist. Second goal of the season for Hermanson. That was a hellacious finish. We've got to take a look at that again. Hey, Cat, what's going on? Oh, nice, nice job. Two to one advantage, and we immediately go to a set piece, and we always concede these. Into the wall. Knocked away. Hermanson, good job. He attacks, lays it off to Frieden, who puts it through to Lang, and he drifts it. He was not offsides. That's baloney. And you're not going to show that to me again. Because I know he wasn't offsides. You guys let me know in the comments if he was offsides. Go back and look at that. I don't think he was. Oh, he was looking for the top bin there. All right. 2-1, to 13-7, to 6-3 shots on target. Dominating possession. Uh, excellent effort. And again, a lot of new people today. So I always do the watch your step, avoid a second yellow card. Always do that at halftime. Hey, cat, what's going on? All right, or not. <laughs> All right, come on, boys. Yeah, you might want to get in front of him and mark him, not just drift by him. All right, they make an early substitution up top. All right, head it out. Good job. Uh, wide open on that side. Isaacson, oh, right into Goodmanson's face. In the face. All right, nice ball. Quick one touch. And he must have been off sides. Really? All right, Goodmanson. All right, a little flick back header. Thony plays it through. Hermanson on the run. Slots it home. That's his second of the game, and his third of the season takes over the scoring lead. Very, very nice. Puts us up three to one, gives us a little bit of breathing room. All right, we're going to have a corner here. Let's go ahead and look at a substitution. Uh, Hellstrom, let's get a yellow off. Let's bring, uh, let's bring John Malm down there. Johan Malm. New player, by the way. New player. Uh, he can play right wing or right back. Actually, can do either one. He can cross. He can dribble. He's got it all. I like him. I think he's going to be one of our main guys coming off the bench. And not quite. I'm going to hold on to that second sub here. Goodmanson sends it over. All right. Mom's on the field. All right, Lang loses it to a solid tackle. Quick back pass. I wish my keeper would come out. Looks like he pulled a Neymar there, Lane, pulling a Neymar. He dropped down in the six-yard box and looked like he rolled out to the edge of the of the big box, to the, to the 18, yeah. There we go, lump it out. Good job. Right to their team, bad job. Oh, crap. Oh, good save. Oof. I'm guessing that one-on-one -on -one patch hasn't been put in yet. All right. Mo I don't know what that was. Uh, he threw that about as high as he could throw it. All right. Lang. Long. Ta oh, dirty play. Dirty play. He's got to go off. Got to go off. All right. You know what? I'm going to pull the trigger now. Hermanson, we're going to bring on uh, Johansson. There we go. That wasn't the move I wanted to make, but I saw he was a little, little tired. Into the box. Down. Oh, off the woodwork. That should have been in the net. <clears throat> and that's why we don't make that last sub that early. Uh, Hallen, center back, uh, Bergman, he's only got a five pace. That's crap. Sundstrom. 
He's faster. He can't head the ball, but that's okay. So I'm going to bring some, some, yeah. I'm going to bring him into the middle. And then uh, we'll bring Falk onto the left side. There we go. Hopefully that injury is not too bad. That's definitely a spot we can't afford too many injuries at. We're relatively thin. All right, Lane comes out, falls on it. Good job. Oh, he threw it. Oh, that had to have been pressure on him there. I think he's got like a five throwing. <laughs> All right, nice, nice touch. Frieden turns the corner, puts on the Jets into the box. Oh, and he goes across the face of the goal and just goes wide. All right, we're going to have to uh, tell these guys to concentrate because they're getting complacent. All right, Malm tries to find the pass. All right, good header over to Soderstrom. He touches it up to Thony, crosses it in. There's the header and the rebound. Emil Johansson, his first goal of the season, coming off the bench. It's probably not Emil. It's probably Emil, isn't it? I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk that up to just not being used to saying his name. That's what I'm going to go with. You guys buy that? Anybody buying that? Hello? Hello? All right, Lorenzen. All right, he holds it up. Oh, good job by Falk to clear that out. It was a dangerous cross. No. Oh. Come on, man. You're letting the guys get right around you. Demand more. All right, head it out. Right back in. Head it out again. That one goes for a corner. I don't like that header. I guess it beats heading it right into the center of the box where they immediately put a rebound shot in. But when you give up set pieces all the time, that looked like a nice save by the keeper. That was not a nice save. Philip Lorenzen, fifth goal of the season. Wow. So his second match, and he's already got five. That's crazy. Two goals today. So he must have had a hat trick in their opener. All right. We are going to bring that home. Four to two. 31 to 14 on shots. 14 on target. Nine chances created. Liking that a lot. Very good, boys. Let's get through the day here. All right, so we're still top of the table, plus seven on the goal differential. Two wins right there with Motala. Uh, they were, I don't recognize them, so they must be one of the relegation teams from last year. Uh, the teams that got relegated down. Uh, let's see. Usually that tells us right here, doesn't it? No, not at all. Season preview. Relegated. Promoted. No, so that, yeah. Mm, how do we only have one relegated team? Oh, because we didn't win the promotion, so they went into the other league, I guess. Okay. Uh, Igor... Vivarios, welcome to the channel. Another new subscriber. I'm guessing those are all coming from Loki's video. Uh, so thank you and welcome to the channel. Uh, hope you guys like what you see. Comment away, let me know. But anyway, uh, so new club record, boys. 12 game unbeaten streak. We should have gotten that email, right? No? Hallen is, oh, five to six weeks. Ouch. Mom makes his debut. Thony. Superb. And Carl Skrona is enjoying life with Cajun. Of course they are. Of course they are. M going much better this, this club than we've really had anywhere up to this point. Uh, anyway, where do we come back? So we've set a new club record with a 12-match unbeaten run. Uh, let's come back for... Let's come back for Motala. We'll come back here pretty early. So we'll come back from Motala and Stenningsons, and we'll do that, and then we'll see where we come back after that. We may go a little while, maybe into June somewhere. 
But uh, anyway, so we'll come back uh, just a couple of matches down the road, kind of get used to the club. We've got a lot of new players. Uh, in fact, let's take a quick look. So if we if we look at the guys that started this match and the subs, mostly the same subs, Mom got a game, but these guys are not even getting sniffs. And there you can see what they're playing in the friendlies. So we're gonna have to look at some of these guys. I wanna I'm gonna look, I think Maza. I think Maza's a guy that I want to put on the bench as a reserve striker. Because I think he's our second best finisher. Uh Henningsen was a striker last year, but he, he can't finish well. He's more of a winger. And I like the fact he can play multiple positions. But anyway, I'll look at that moving forward. Guys, hit the like button for me if you liked what you saw. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And welcome to all the new members for just today. And we'll see you guys, I hope, in the next episode. Take care. Bye.